Car Crashers 2 is having a massive update with 4 new cars and a huge rework to the progression system. Let's get into this. This vehicle looks pretty cool. I like all the decals on its body and I think the roof rack's insane. I definitely think panels should add these features to more cars as an option in the dealership. Decals on cars would be super cool. The next car looks like it's fast and futuristic. It'll probably cost around 40 to 50 billion dollars, which means it'll actually be on the Platina progress path. More on that in a little. Car after that is the BMW M4 Challenger. Looks pretty good. That yellow paint job is pretty unique. Then our last car is this Ferrari 130T2, which is actually an achievement car you get for having 10,000 lifetime Platina. Car Crushers 2's brand new currents. If you haven't heard already, Platina will basically replace money past 20 billion, and it's going to serve as a replacement to mastery. How it works is when you hit 20 billion, vehicles will have a platina price instead of a cash requirement. You get platina by destroying cars, upgrading them, and playing derby. The thing that makes platina different than money is that you actually have to spend it, not just earn it and keep it. Although lifetime platina will be a track stat. CC2 will also have a second new currency called prestige, which is basically a currency that limits how much platina you can have at once. For example, if you have 10 prestige, you can have a max of 1,000 platina. And if you have 200 prestige, you can have a max of 20,000 platina. You get the prestige by buying vehicles. And for those who've already beat the game, don't worry, because Payne will said that any vehicle you've purchased will remain in your inventory as well as every dollar you had in your wallet. There will also be one last small feature coming to update 62, and that's that you can earn tuning score by purchasing plows. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe. Until the next, goodbye.